socioeconomic rights and accountability project has said that the plan by the, by the government of President Muhammadu Buhari to share $350 million, which is about 115 billion naira, loot recovered from former military ruler, late General Sani Abacha, among estimated 300,000 households, with each getting about 5,000 a month, is mistargeted and will not bring any tangible benefits to the beneficiary. So it's basically a case of you teaching, giving someone fish rather than teaching them how to you fish. You are not even giving them fish. How what much is, is the, what, what is the fish? The truth is, you don't even have to, you know, bag a degree in common sense. If there's any university that offers that, to understand that this plan, if we, if we table our options, it will not even fall into one to 100 million. Now, we have always complained that it is essentially human capital development. Nigerians are poor. If we go by, the, if we go by you know, the research work done by the Brooklyn institutions, people have argued for, people have argued against, but many are indifferent because everyday life in Nigeria is a struggle. Let me give this analogy. Now, this is a plastic container. This is a kitchen utensil. It's a saving basket. Now, it cannot collect any content that is liquid going by its design. Now, we have a bowl of water here. Now, if I pour this bowl of water into this content, if I, pour, if I, if I, if I like, let me fetch the water from the Atlantic Ocean. If I keep pouring in into this, I am the one that will get tired because at the end of the day, the Atlantic Ocean will never dry unless a miracle like the days of uh, uh, Moses, Moses happens. <laughs> and this container will just get filled and it would start spilling its content. We must begin to do more for the Nigerian people. We must invest. In social studies, we were taught that the basic necessities of life are food, clothing, and shelter. These are not readily available and accessible, and people live their life like it's a struggle. What you must do is invest in education. What you must do is invest in healthcare. What you must do is invest in security and all other sectors that will create an enabling environment for Nigerians to try. And something sustainable. Giving 5,000 naira to the poorest and most extremely poor families in Nigeria is not going to do anything for them. It is the heartbreaking term. every day when I see young men, able-bodied young men in traffic, you know, hustling to make a living from a profit of maybe 2,000 naira to get by the next day. Nigeria is a country that is abundantly and so blessed with human and natural resources. And I always ask, these people that have the mandate to represent our interests, are they the best that we deserve? At the end of the day, this just reminds me, this analogy that you've given us just reminds me of the fact that you poured water into the sieve. At the end of the day, you can't get anything for the sieve to hold. This is so from we one want, pocket to exactly. the other pocket. So we want, we want, we're expecting a lot from the Nigerian people. We're expecting a lot from our leaders. But the question we should ask is, can you give what you do not have? It just reminded me of a Latin magazine, Nemo Das Quod Non Habet. You really cannot give what you do not have. So in expecting a lot from our young people, in expecting a lot from them, we need to put a lot in them. We need to ensure that we focus on human capital development. So that way we are giving into them, we're putting a lot into them, and we're expecting a lot in return. Very simple. It will naturally multiply and what young people must do is go with the popular football analogy the first 11 you put in your best men you start with your best men so that you can get the very best out of the game you see opportunities and take them these people that occupy these positions honorable SLNC, executive if we go by human capital development if we go by common sense if we go by the blessing that god has oh god this i always insist my class, the University of Nigeria, History and International Studies, class of 2011, none of these people can be course rep. At this point, I think we should even decide to make Chukudi a worthy ambassador of that university because he has ably represented you. But thank you so much for sharing with us. Thank you very thank much. You. Unfortunately, we feel, your pain. we feel your pain. You know, we don't want you to always come on the show angry, but they keep upsetting you. They keep upsetting me now. I know. Don't hungry me. Don't hungry me. <laughs> to enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.